flies here. There's people walking by looking at me. Hi, Jen. Hi. <laughs> Day two was a wrap. Took a intro to espresso milk training 01 or 101 and 102. Right now we're gonna head over to a cupping class. Last night's pool party was super lit. Went to sleep around 1.30 in the morning. Had to wake up at seven for breakfast, so uh, continue to sweat, continue to drink coffee. People are really, really nice out here. Met a lot of great people so far. Uh, a lot of West Coasters, a lot of great people. People from Alaska, people from New Jersey, uh, people from the South. Hope you guys enjoy the, the videos. I'm off to class. Peace. Great. I like to think of the crust as like being a lid that's like holding all those aromatics down. And so when we break the crust, we're able to release the aromatics and we're able to smell everything. So we'll grab a cupping spoon. In best case scenario, we each pick a number and then we each have a, a cup number on each tray. But uh, in this case, five and six will have to kind of share. We'll, but you can still take note of the aromatics after you break the crust. It's really just that this is a good opportunity. One, two, three. And then you stop. The idea is that we're all gonna do it the same so that we all create the same amount of turbulence through all the five cups across the three trays. Get your nose real down close. And then one, two, three, and you're done. And then rinse the cup, or rinse the spoon, and <laughs> move, move on to the next tray. Okay. All right. Two spoons, start in the back, slide it around, and get all of the surface bubbles, and then just move on to the next tray. And if you don't get a chance to do this on this flight, that's okay. You'll get to do it on the second flight. And then, you know, do your thing, spit it out or swallow, it's okay. You'll notice on your cupping sheet we have something for uniformity. All of these should be uniform. You can just put a check in that box. If they're not uniform, somebody like me screwed it up. <laughs> Something on the table happened. So it's totally possible that one of these five don't. For example, um, this one I didn't add all the water at the same time. Maybe it's gonna taste a little different. If it does, we're gonna know that it has nothing to do with the coffee. It has to do with the instructor. You know, this coffee has gone through that process, was purchased by a roaster, and then rested quality control. So we can generally assume that all five cups on this table are going to be uniform. We're gonna do a total, generally we did three or more passes. On the first pass, we're gonna take notes of uh, the flavor and aftertaste, then we'll move on to body and acidity, and then in the third pass, you can clean up any remaining missing notes. And they're cheap, so.
everything's gonna happen pretty quickly once the water gets to the top. All right, so almost all the water up there. Right. Let's talk about. So now that we have all the water up there, I'm going to try to keep it from, from falling, but also keep the water up there. So if I let it cook too much, then it's just going to boil up here and it's going to over extract the coffee. I'm just going to turn it down just a scope to just try to keep it at that rolling boil, that like rolling boil down here, but at a simmer up here. So now we got the coffee, and as soon as the coffee goes in, I'm going to start this timer. So the coffee's gonna go in, start the timer. I want to saturate all the ground as quickly as possible. Notice I'm going in the north, south, east, west direction. You can stir it whatever you want, it's just what I found works the best. And we're gonna let that steep for one minute. At a minute, I'm gonna agitate it again, create some more turbulence. We don't have a whole lot of contact time, we're only having two minutes of contact time. And then at that minute mark, we'll, we'll do it one more time and then we'll do a stir at the end so that we can create a dome. Bring down. There we go. So that's like not absolutely necessary though, right? Nope. So he, but it, it just makes the extraction better? It just speeds up the drawdown okay. so that you don't have coffee and water hanging out too long. Okay. We're all done with the uh, coffee brewing class. Now it's on to an ice cream party. So, I had a ton, a ton of coffee in here. Brewed a Chemex French press. Uh, what else did we brew? Aeropress, Aeropress siphon. and a siphon. Super fun. <laughs> now, it's time to rest, eat, and then I have my practical exam so I can get my level one certificate. Uh, I should be able to pass. If not, <laughs> then I'll just take it again. Day two of Breeze Camp is all done and set. Um, Actually, no, it's day three. It's day three today. In a little bit, about 20 minutes, I have to take my barista one, barista level one certification practical exam. I think the test is pretty straightforward. And uh, you know, it's set up so you can pass. Then again, it's not, you know, it's no trick questions or anything like that. So at least that's what, that's what they told us and they assured me. So I, I trust them, I trust the BGA. So uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too nervous. I mean, it's not easy. Hopefully I pass this exam. It's always a little nerve wracking when someone's watching what you're doing. Um, but yeah, it should be fine. Anyways, wish me luck. All right, cool, see ya. <laughs> you did your test already? Yeah. Yeah, did good? I hope so. Yeah, it's the plan, right? Oh, look at these timers. Right? They're an essential part. You got this, man. You got this. I love all the team camaraderie that's been happening this weekend. Yeah, right. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> so, tonight, guys, we're going to have uh, a little bit of a format. We're going to do our team challenge. We're Hey, is this Rick? Hey! <laughs> Let me take a photo of you. No, I'm not for uh, it's a video, yeah? Alright, yeah, this is really cool, but. No, I don't watch it. We're doing a team challenge and I have to be blindfolded. Wait, what are you. Oh, shit. Sorry. Come on, Bob! <laughs> uh, that's a wrap, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Thank you. the camp. Uh, we just had a dance party, we just had closing ceremonies, a great three days of being nerdy, being uh, a coffee nerd, meeting all these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people from all over the U.S. I, I'm not gonna cry, I promise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you, uh, you subscribe down below uh, or comment down below. The pool party was super, super fun. I didn't really, sorry for not recording much of the pool party, but I was a big part of uh, 
the party, so couldn't record much. Thank you so much for Wrecking Ball Coffee for sending me to this. Um, great experience. Hopefully one day I can come back and do a level two. You have to look here though. Okay. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. Sodded, uh, repping Wrecking Ball. You, you gotta speak up though. You gotta speak up. Dude, saw Danny, <laughs> you're the real MVP. Oh, she's the real Danny MVP. Girl? Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>